Um, well, I mean, like you say, every 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 year it's different. Like you had like one year it was Netta um, with her song Toy from Israel, and then the next year it's Duncan Lawrence uh, with like this big emotional ballad. So I think I feel like you know we got these. We also got a brief um, from like loads of Eurovision kind of um, boffins, and it was like. It can't be in um, the tempo between 110 and 124 BPM because that's ploddy pop and that never wins, apart from one song. I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, and the key of C is too happy for Eurovision. So there's like all these kind of rules, but I think mainly it's just writing something that connects with people, that feels, that captures a moment or captures a feeling um, of what's happening at the time and something that people can connect to in some sort of way. You know, if it's an emotional song, then, you know, it gets them there. And if it's a dance, you know, it's, if it's fun and it's exciting, then that could get people in. And um, for me, like I wanted to do something that, that had a memorable hook that you didn't have to know the lyrics to as well, because, you know, there's 41 countries and not everyone can speak my language. So if, if it's a moment where you can just sing along without having to know the words, I think that's really important, maybe. Um, but I don't know, it's, uh, it's, there's no, I don't think there is a formula. I think it's just a feeling that you have to try and uh, catch on to.